This this is a head cannon c- circus duction. everybody to wrestling review who so we are going to review the <sighs> 1996 wrestlemania 12 brett the hitman hart versus sean michaels sean the heartbreak kid michaels a uh, iron man match so i already said woo because we know if anybody knows this iron match is iron man match is 60 minutes so we are going to jump right into the match and during the entrance and all that stuff we'll go give the history and all that good stuff because it's a long match, so we're going to try to maximize the time we, we got have time. with you all. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So, if you want to go to the network, go to WrestleMania 12, or you know, go to 1996 WrestleMania, whatever you want to do. We're not starting at the very beginning of the match so that WWE Network has. We're actually going to forward some, because again, we're going to try to cut as much time as here. Also, be warned, we're going to do some skipping in time, but we will let you know when we skip in time. So, just to kind of give you the format, we're going to do the entrance... Then we're going to skip right to the match. Then we're going to do the whole match through. And then when stuff happens at the end, we're going to skip to the other portion of the match. And then we'll finish up. Because, again, I don't want to bury the lead of people who've never seen it or that. Right. And if this is your first time seeing it, guys, Shame please on you. go ahead. <laughs> get you your beverages. Yes, you know, get, get some. I have a nice little cooler here. Ready for this match, so please, by all means, enjoy this, because we're going to enjoy it too. So, well, speaking of that, let's go ahead, and I want to tell you where you want to jump to on the network. You want to go to one hour, 29 minutes, and 28 seconds. So, one hour, 29 minutes, 28 seconds. For anyone that can't see it, it is when Jose Lothario is pointing... To the Raptors. To the Raptors. <laughs> to the fans. For anyone that doesn't know what we're talking about. <laughs> right, he's exactly. Pointing. He's on the ropes and he's pointing. All and right, so again, one hour, 29 minutes, 28 seconds. We were going to press play in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. All right, we now we press play. If people don't know now, it is for the Heartbreak Kids entrance. Sean's at the top of the Raptors doing his thing. Probably one of the most epic, if not the most epic, WrestleMania entrance of all time. I I think it is the most epic WrestleMania entrance of all time. All right, here we go. So, ah, what a ride! (laughs) As this is going on, oh, look at the camera flashes. That's just a beautiful sight. All right, as this goes on, Travis, tell us how we have gotten here. Um, so. Before we get there real quick, okay. uh, Vince McMahon did actually do that, just so, uh, it, for anyone that doesn't know, he did that before while they were doing pre-production to show Shawn Michaels it was going to be safe, so kudos to Vince McMahon to be like, yeah, I'll do this too, right. and show you that, uh, you know, it can be done, so I just want to throw that in while, while it was still going on. How did we get here? Feels a little salty too, because if anybody knows any history of the Hart family. Yes. But that's another discussion for another day, for another wrestling uh, review, and uh, I think we won't ever review well, that. But, anyway, no, go ahead. No, no. <laughs> anyway, so, how did we get here? So, 1996. Um, so, we'll start in 95. 95, Bret Hart is the WWF champion pretty much throughout 1995. Uh, not, uh, he, he, he and Diesel are kind of flipping back and forth a little bit. Okay. But, Bret Hart becomes the champion. and um, uh, But, Shawn Michaels is... Quickly rising to the top of being the number one fan favorite wrestler in WWF at the time. Right. It is literally between Sean and Brett. Like, it, it, there's no other one. Other guys are popular, of course. Undertaker, Diesel, this, that, and the other. But these are the, you know, two hottest Well, I would guys. say at this point in the career, I, Brett's the most popular one. Especially when you go internationally. Yes. But Sean is the guy that everybody sees coming. Yes. And is, is the guy that's on fire. Yes. Right? Yes. So, 
Hart's here. Michaels is like this. He's rising to yes, get yes. to Hart. And he's close. Um, but so, but Bret Hart is the champion. So how did we get here? Um, Shawn Michaels wins the Royal Rumble match mm-hmm. in 1996, which would actually make him a two-time Royal Rumble winner. Because he had won it in 95 as well. Okay. So he was the first ever person to win it back-to-back times. Um, in one of the most rottenest Royal Rumbles of all time, <laughs> if anyone cares. But uh, the 96 Royal Rumble is terrible. But Bret Hart, or, um, Shawn Michaels wins. And oh, hold on, hold on. We got, we got to watch Excellence now. When Excellence hits the ring, we got to enjoy this. You know, hmm. come on! Hmm. Get that, that purple, you know, that pink and black attack, baby. The pink and black attack. You know, as a kid, I just wanted, just one day in my life, to get the glasses. Oh, like, I did to get from, from Brett. Not, not just from, just, I could buy it in the store, but yes. from Brett. I just yeah. wanted to be that kid in the crowd that got the glasses. Yes. Oh, uh, but all right, go ahead, continue. <laughs> um, anyway, so, uh, Sean wins Royal Rumble. Of course, that comes with a championship match at WrestleMania. Absolutely. Um, what people may not remember is, um, in storyline wise, that I'm clapping like a jerk. Yeah, no. <laughs> you know he's doing that just to be a yeah a, 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 a hole. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say something else, but anyway. Um, <laughs> Shawn Michaels uh, had you know in night in November of ninety five had. Um, in October, had won the IC title, had to give it up because he got his butt kicked by a bunch of Marines in a bar and had concussion problems, and WWF kind of plays that up, and they storyline play it as she, Owen Hart, you know, gave him the yeah. concussion. So, in February, the In Your House leading up to, after Royal Rumble, Owen challenges Michaels, basically saying, I gave you a concussion last year. I should be, the, you know, the, the real champion because I've already beaten you. And he goats Shawn Michaels into a, uh, you know, one-on-one match for the In Your House pay-per-view where Shawn Michaels, uh, WWE. Okay, we'll pause shot. you here. Pause you here. We're going to pause here, guys. We're pausing right now at a hour, thirty-three minutes and forty-seven seconds. Let's go ahead and push the time up to an hour, 36 minutes, and 10 seconds. And that's going to be the start of the match officially. So Yeah, we don't need to see them talking. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just right now, they're just doing the whole, the pageantry, the boot checks. Hey, make sure no one has any hidden weapons or anything going on in uh, the crap that we don't really care about as much. Everyone as knows much. this is a 60-minute Iron Man match. Okay, and 60 so minutes, yada, yada, yada. got the entrance in, guys. Let's go ahead, and we're going to recalibrate again. Again, an hour, 36, uh, 36 minutes, and 10 seconds. We will start the match in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's go. All right, so now we got them squaring out. Sorry, let's go. So That's quickly, uh, what's, so what's left on it? What are you? Um... So Owen Hart and Shawn Michaels have a match at the February in your house for Shawn Michaels, uh, you know, championship match. Of course, Shawn Michaels wins. So then that leads us straight to Bret Hart versus Shawn Michaels. Okay, and so basically we're here now with this. Shawn is getting his title shot, basically. Yes. And yes. so when did the Iron Man stipulation, did that come into play? How, how did that come about? Um... I believe it was, you know, after it was, you know, known that they were going to do this match. Um, I th- think it was Sean, but it could have been Brett. Uh, to be honest with you, I, I can't really remember which one of them had the idea, like storyline wise, mm-hmm. that they were going to do this. Um, but it just became a story, you know, that let's have these are the best two workers in the business and in the company, and um, let's. Put a you know go sixty minutes and that way we truly. So I, I thought in the storyline I thought maybe did did Piper or somebody make this like a, a sixty minute match? It could or? have been because Piper was the acting commissioner. Yeah, I thought it was time. like Piper was like he really wanted to tr- see who truly was okay. the best in the country. Co- again, I'm spitballing here. I think this you're is just right. based off the memory I had like in when I was a kid. This yeah. is nothing to do with I didn't research for it. But I think Piper kind of set the match. But anyway, uh, we're going to the beginning of it. As everybody's watching right now, we just getting a, uh, a bunch of holds in here, which is a huge knock on this match. But we'll get to that further down the road line. I think, as you know, it's a Bret Hart mark. I'm going to mark and Bret Hart mark the whole way through this. Absolutely. And I am a bit of a Sean mark because the Sean matches we've had, I have marked out a bit for that. But 
the psychology here now is we, you, I mean, you're going to openly say it. I mean, you can state it. Everybody knows. We got the excellence of execution. Yep. Red Hart's known as probably the most technical wrestler in the world at this moment. Yep. And he's getting out technique by Shawn Michaels. Yes. <laughs> So um, imagine, you know, you starting this match and your strategy coming into here is you're going to slow this down, take away Shawn Michaels' wheels, and just tech him to death. And then Shawn Michaels comes out and is out teching you. Yep. So when you that. saw a moment, you saw Brett's frustration when he slams the mat, but now we're going further. Brett has him in the lock. So Brett's like, okay, I got to bring out my A game. I got to mm-hmm. bring out that Stu Dungeon <laughs> game for this because Shawn's not falling for the banana in the tailpipe here. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. <laughs> got him in the headlock, a headlock, a rest, headlock, rest. So, you know, for most people who are wrestling guys, mostly when they put these headlocks and holds on people, those are moments for rest, also for building crowd anticipation. Yes. And then goes Sean tries to get out of the hold, slides down. That's a way better move than uh, when we saw Hogan and Sting do that last week. Yes. Absolutely. And Hogan <laughs> looked like he almost took Jared Tall and fell. Uh, uh, so. <laughs> almost broke his hip again. Yeah, yeah. That, that's how that move's supposed to look yes. when you have two professionals at the prime doing that. Um, so I forgot what I was going. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, we have Brett doing this, you know, excess execution. But I'm saying the holds. Typically, it matches for people, for the wrestlers to rest. Yes. Or for the build-up anticipation to give that last little push. Mm-hmm. Well, in this match, as we're all going to see, it's a lot of this. Yes. <laughs> a lot of hold, especially for the first 30 minutes. Absolutely. A lot of hold, a lot of pushing down, you know. And I love the comment by the king. He goes, BH and S. Emma for Brett, Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels for the idiots at home that didn't know that. <laughs> like, it's so great. <laughs> That's why the King's fantastic. Yeah, funny fact, I mean, I, I, I guess in my memory banks, I always thought this was announced by J.R. and the King, mm. but it's not. It's Vince. Yep. Yeah. Vince McMahon and J.R. Well, and how, the King. I don't know how you can remember that, because the famous line at the end is definitely said by Vince McMahon. I, I, again, I just, I, I, you know how you attribute things to the King. I know, you hear, that's true, that's true. You hear him on, all my life, I, I always imagine J.R. doing wrong. Yeah. So I've always just had J.R. in my mind when I watch any older... This era WWE wrestling that JR's announcing. So it was welcome when I did go back and watch it and go, oh, that was Vince the whole time, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> up hip toss by Sean. Oh, and Brett kicks him, kicks him, you know. Up hip by, uh, by Brett. Sean breaks over with the legs. Nice. Yep, kick out. We get a little exchange here. Another one up. Headlock flip. And there we go. And then Brett, Brett and even Sean's like, God damn it. Damn. Like, I, I couldn't get him. Yeah, I was trying to pick the pace up and kind of show him away, and then Brett flipped it on over. Yep. Brett has him now in the headlock again and, and uh, holding there, and Sean's doing a great job of making sure his shoulder doesn't hit the mat. There we go, turn it two up. And, like, I was, I was going to try to get there quicker, but I didn't get it out. That's but fine. Sean does a great job of not putting his shoulder on the mat, so when we just saw that moment for the pin, it's a good selling look because... Sean's deliberately making sure that he's not having to worry about a pin mm-hmm. while he's trying to get out of the hole. Absolutely. They get him up to the knee, all right. And we, I guess we have to do the classic question here. Who's the face and who's the heel here? I think uh, this is one of those rare occasions. This here. is this is a definitely face and face match. Both guys are are um, face at this point. Still. Or not still, but they've always been. Yeah. Face I mean, HBK point, is so. probably more heel-ish. Like in in the sense of the fan reception, this is before the Brett America sucks. Yeah, that's Canada's true. great thing. Like yeah, this, this is, is a year, this is about a year before that. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This and is actually kind of the almost the the beginning of his, which we'll get to later on in, yeah. of what happens um, at the end of the match. Of, yeah, of his the start, the very very start inkling of his heel. Um, you know, turn, but absolutely at this point, he is still 100% a face. Yeah, he even gives the, the head, uh, the, the glasses to a kid. That's the thing we fast forwarded yeah. past, but we make sure he goes back out the ring to hand it to it. Also, it's a good spot in the beginning where Brett kisses the, the championship before he hands it over. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, and again, we get just getting the more holds. So we're pretty much about seven minutes into this. Got a lot of a lot of holds here. There we go. Plays oh. to the psychology. Sean rest. Yep. A la being tired a little bit. Plays on his back and has to beat the pin uh, the, the count there. Brett gets him back up here. Now we're gonna get a little bit here because being a psychologist that Brett and uh, Sean are, they know the crowd has to start popping now. Absolutely. So you got to give them something here. That, that, I don't know if anyone's been watching the crowd. They're sitting on their hands. Right yep, now. yep, yep. Then we There's get this quick exchange on. here. Yeah. Oh, oh and you got some, you got some fans yep. clapping, and you and... you, know, you sped it up a little bit, and now we're back to wrestle. <laughs> Get back to the hole. 
<laughs> but that's what an Iron Man match is, typically, right? Like, unfortunately, everyone, you know, you either love him or you hate him. There's Ugh. really no in-between. You either like him because it's a lot of wrestling, or you hate him because... You feel like most of the time it's, it's and, and we're going to get to that psychology I, way I, I know, Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. No, like, no, I'm glad you set that up because I want people to remember that statement, and we're going to bring that back near the end about the fans standing on their hands and what an Iron Man match is supposed to look and feel like. I think the most recent incarnation we had was with the Bailey, and maybe was it Bailey and Sasha? They had a 30 minute. Yeah, yeah, yes. Iron Man, like yes. it was. Which I think is probably a way more reasonable time, too. <laughs> yes, a 30 minute one is way better. But with this being pay per view and the main event, they had to make do something a little different. Sean so. again, flexing his uh, ability right there. Uh, well, you know, they took your arm man, drag, man. and then uh, Sean reverses it with his arm drag, and now Brett's back in the arm lock again. Yeah. Arm bar lock there. Hey, it's Stu and Classy Freddy Blassie. I know, I know. I know they're loving this match. Like, they. They got to be sitting here looking at this. Stu's got to be like, this is some good old in the, in the dungeon wrestling here. <laughs> I love this match. <laughs> yeah, back to his feet now. He's, you know, uh, looks like, and Sean's doing a great job working over the shoulder. And we know, as we're going to talk about as always, Brett's going to sell a hell out of that arm and oh, shoulder injury just absolutely. all through this. Get an exchange. Uh Brett probably could have waited a split second to take that bump. But all right, cool. And there oh, we go. Good move because we hadn't seen that one yet. Yep. I know, I know what Vince is saying in the chair. This is such good shit, pal. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Uh, Brett again, pissed off. Smacks the bat again because he's let Sean outmaneuver him again in right. his technique. Got a little bit of control. Also, so. too, you know, leading up to a little bit of this, like, Brett was playing Sean as the, the playboy. The, the one that wasn't willing to sacrifice at all to get the championship or be the champion because... Up to this point, Sean really, that's what he was. Yeah. And that plays into the angle of you have this guy that takes this belt so super serious and his business so real and his master this technique. And then you get the guy that's flashy and showy and, you know, it just he, you know, it, it, so Brett plays kind and of the working man's champion. And, and they do, you know, at this point in 96. Most people, unless you're really, really insider, probably don't know the histrionics and like the backstage stuff going on between these two, mm -hmm. right? At this point, unless you're really go, of course, a year from now in '97, there's a lot more of it going absolutely, on. Absolutely, absolutely. But this, you know, th those parts, you know, leading up to this, where neither, you know, both these guys mm. kind of want to do things their way a little, a little bit, dirty there, yeah. And, um, you know, Hart really didn't want to drop the title, but you know, it he had to do business, he had to do business, and it, and it was what it was. And also, right too, thing, so. in Brett's mindset at this point, so you know, we go through the whole the, the monster champion era, and Brett's kind of the first champion that isn't good move there, very good, good. spot nice there. Bump. Yep, and Brett sells it like, How did he get me in that? <laughs> right. when I'm supposed to be the son of a bitch, again, yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Like, <laughs> and look at look at Sean fixing up his gear, like, All right, let's go. Get uh, away, Jose. Yeah. Brett's like, this son of a bitch. Like, every time I think I got him, he just a little bit faster than me. A little, yeah. and, but the psychology of the match, like, how this match ends is systematic of these moments. Like, Here's Sean just seems to be a little bit ahead of him. Every time Brett gets an advantage, Sean just seems to be a little bit ahead of him. And, that, like, and that's what people don't get when you watch this match. That's the setup they're giving you for the big finish yes. is that everything Brett does and everything Brett pulls out, Sean just finds a way just to get away and they just be a little bit ahead of Brett. So, Which, go ahead. The, I, I, was, I was just going to make a quick comment that, you know, Brett was on the outside, and of course, you're supposed to get a 10 count. That was a good quality 30 seconds right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah come yeah, on, yeah. ref. Yeah. Come on, Hebner. It's supposed to be a 10 count, not a 30 second count. Hey, look here, man. It's excellent <laughs> some execution. You let him have that. <laughs> but and I was yes, going to say, I was going to say, with the big champions right now, Brett's kind of the first mid sized, kind of smaller guy to be champion. Yes. Brett knew that he would not be able to beat the... And there you go, Brett. Give it a little payback. But, oh, no. Which again, Sean, Sean really just a little move. bit. Yep. No. <laughs> Brett thinks he has him. So, he keeps his eye off the ball just for that quick split second. Absolutely. Sean, you know, comes was right in his face. It's a little showing a little bit of Brett's arrogance. Like, yep. I'm going to toss this joke out the ring. And Sean does a little, you know, reversal back in. Actually, did, did he win the Rumble this year with the... The Sean win that? Was that the, the one-foot one that he won with that this year? So people don't know, it was a it was a moment in uh, Russell Royal Rumble uh, history 
But Sean gets thrown and he goes over the ropes, but he hangs on to only one foot touches. But no, two so feet need to touch to get eliminated. Right, that was that was his first that was his first win. Okay. Um that was the um ninety five when, when he had the cause that was against British Bulldog. Okay. Okay. So um and Bulldog um yeah, British Bulldog was ninety five where he had the one foot, one foot, one foot, yeah, and yeah. then British Bulldog celebrating on the second rope. Michaels drop kicks him, flips over, and they're like, "What happened?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, okay. Yeah, yeah. I just thought if it was the same, year, I'm like, "Oh, that's some good some psychology there." But I mean, also we still have known that HBK is great when it comes to taking yeah. those bumps and those kind of maneuvers. Yeah. Oh, so this, was, this year at Royal Rumble, this is the one where he's uh, Sweet Chin Music's Diesel to okay. eliminate him. To, oh, to nice little chin breaker yeah. there, jaw breaker there. Um, I was gonna say, but yeah, Brett takes over, and Brett's mentality is that I'm never gonna be as glamorous as the big guys. Right. So I'm going to outwork every other champion that's ever been. Great. Mantra. And so he kind of, if you watch this era, Brett pretty much defends the belt like almost every, every damn every, single raw, every <laughs> like, raw, yeah. if not if it's every other raw. Right. It, it is crazy <laughs> how much how much they, and he really does it a lot. Right when he had won the title. Like ninety two, ninety three. Yeah, he yeah. really defended it a lot, and this is kind of like his second run with the belt, right? But yeah, he still. Right. Do, I'm not saying he doesn't that now, you know, at this point too, but because he, he does. But really, in uh, ninety two, ninety three, um, that's actually one one storyline they bring up for WrestleMania nine is how he, you know, wrestles like every single week, and he really does. So. Also, let me bring this is a uh, Orange Blossom Brewing Company back in the day IPA. I want to say this is from Orlando. So, shout out to them. It was a really good IPA. I enjoyed it. We're not trying to get any sponsors over here. We're no, just trying hey, to help I mean, people out. Give them, give them people credit where credit's due. Yep. Now, I'm going to be a wussy and drink some Twisted Tea. Hi, if everybody knows what's going on, you know why this is important. Uh, trust me, Travis is my friend. I won't I won't unleash the Twisted Tea on him. I may unleash it on Shawn Michaels, though. But, <laughs> 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 but so now we're back to the holes again. And, yes. uh, again, buying some time here. And I know as Travis rocks <sighs> back and forth and... Smacks his chair and he's pretty much this LA crowd right now. Yeah, because <laughs> this is taking place in LA. Anaheim. Oh, Anaheim, Anaheim. yeah, yeah. Anaheim. Yeah. LA, Anaheim. Uh, it's California. No I, I, I get. I just trying to be specific, right? Yeah, you're I don't right. Know people it, call us out. Be like, you're wrong on that. Hey, the, you the, call me out from LA and Anaheim. F y'all. <laughs> and look at Brett with a little athleticism there, similar to Sean's. They flip back up. They get into the top off the ropes here. Up, oh, Sean goes over. Nice move. Brett. Oh, nice. grabs him. And Brad's about to go ahead and give him that. Oh, uh, he's up, going for it. He's up, going for up, it. Uh, uh, up, uh, nope, nope, nope. Sean's like, let me get this rope. And I love how the crowd did not pop whatsoever when he looks like he's trying to get the sharpshooter on because they know nothing's going to happen in the first 15 minutes. So. Man, I can see why this Joker was buying a Swiss and This is all right. It tastes just like I see. And Sean over the top selling a good bump there. Yeah, I had that the other night. It was the uh, first time I've ever had it. It's actually not that bad. I forgot how I used to, I used to serve, uh, serve it at the movie tavern. Okay. And Brett gets out the race. So, again, that's what I think some of it. And I think the king even calls Brett out for, why aren't you just going to let him sit outside and do a count out and get an easy victory here? Yeah. Like, why go out and, and go for it? Mm. Hey, because you want that spot, king, and you need this spot here. Oh, oh, oh. And Brett's like, oh, eat oh, that. Super kick. Come on. <laughs> Tony Chimmel, don't hit Shout him. out to Tony Chimmel. Let's give him a round of applause there. He, he ate that super he, kick he, like he a ate, champion. Absolutely. He, you <laughs> could tell. He's like, no, 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 no. Okay. Good spot there. That's one of the probably one of the better spots in this whole thing. Like yes. Brett gets into it, sits on the you know the ring announcer, he looks at it, it's dazed out in the last minute, ducks under and Sean. And the camera angle sets that up beautifully. Yes, it does. So Sean super kicks the was it the uh, the ring bell announcer or whoever the ring announcer. Yeah, it's I know. think it's a, it might have been the ring bell guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some some jobber got jobbed. <laughs> so we go back to a whole not even a wrestler. But whatever. <laughs> Employee job guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He took that like a champion, man. Go ahead, brother. You can always say that your your foot, you know, Sean's foot met your face one day. Yes. So, you know, but, that is a, but that's the thing, though. That's the thing. Like, it's always a prestigious thing when a superstar unloads a finisher on you a little bit. Yeah. Like, people talk about being tombstone by The Undertaker. They're not, they're not wrestling. Oh, oh, here we go. <laughs> and now he's dead. <laughs> Hey, that super kick's no I, joke, man. I do love the fact, if you look at the fans, they're actually watching to see what's going on with the ring announcer yeah. and the wrestlers. Right yeah, because right I don't think they know if this is K-Faber now. They're like, did he really just hit this guy? Did he hit this guy? <laughs> we get an instant oh, here, you know. And we get to see, oh! Sit there, Brett's like, oh, oh here we get go. my bearings. Here we go. Yeah. And boom! boom. And it's oh, like, so put a little... Did you see the king? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> like, shop with a little extra, 
wolf in there too. <laughs> man, hopefully that bonus was worth it, my man. Absolutely. That bonus had to be worth it. All right, that, we get another. That was the best move of the first 20 minutes. Oh, yeah. here we go. Another good angle here. Oh, oh see, look at that. <laughs> leads into it. She leads into that kick. Jesus Christ. No wonder that dude's knocked out. That dude made me locked up for real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Brett's like, man. Oh, oh. Let's get. Are we getting the stretcher? Oh, we gotta get the stretcher. Yeah, well, you know. Can't take. Mm. That joke is dead. <laughs> <laughs> Where Paul Bear at, man? Where's the Undertaker? <laughs> need Paul Bear to say some words for that man. Go get the casket. Um, the body bag. I love how. <laughs> Sean's trainer doesn't even acknowledge homeboy. Oh, Sean's yeah, like, mm. yeah, whatever. <laughs> Jose's like, get out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Good old Jose with the area. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And so, you know, Sean's like, nope, nope, I'm not giving up. All right. Here we go. Now, at this point, if you're the crowd, like you said, we're looking at the crowd, and it just looks like they're They care just... more about the ring announcer guy than what's yeah, going on in the Yeah, they're match just right hanging now. out here. They're like, man, what, like what's I going on Like I just came back from the concession stand and got a t-shirt. Right, <laughs> and some popcorn. But I'm like, you—they know nothing's gonna happen in these first 20 minutes of this match. I'm like, man, I'm gonna go get myself to. Oh, we get an arm bar, clothesline exchange right there. All right, Sean's like, all right, man, my neck is—I got a crick on my neck. My jaw hurts. Yeah, this joker right, then pulling out my pants. Yeah. <laughs> Then we're going to send Brett off the road. Brett with a reversal. Sean comes off. And oh, nice close line. line. And back and into the headlock. Back to your headlock. There we go. So, I, you see, I can only imagine that if we're looking at this as real two uh, real fighters, like Sean's like, nah, I'm good. Yeah. Uh, it's like the little, uh, um, real two fighters here. The psychology I'm thinking right here for Brett is like, I can't outspeed this guy. Right. I'm not going to get into a speed match with him. Mm -hmm. I'm not also going to get a speed match with him because he's going to wear me down. Yes. And it's going to give him easy pinfalls for me and et cetera. But then also, if I can keep Sean worn down by clouding his, you know, the circulation to your head and all that, keep him kind of cloudy, when I make mistakes, I probably can recover from it. Yes. Because you got to think about it. Brett tried to out-tech him. Mm -hmm. Didn't work as well. So now it's like, all right, well, I have to slow him down now. Right. So. Well, yeah. Like, and, and for, you know, we hadn't really discussed this, but it's as good a time as any. Yeah. Um, you know, some advantages and disadvantages each guy has, you know, for a, t a match like this. Like, yeah. like you just said, Sean's definitely the faster guy, right? Yeah. So he, he wants to kind of speed up the pace. Get it moving, um, you know him running off the ropes, things like Ooh, that. Reversal by Sean there, coming off the ropes. Oh, Brett, nice. going onto the ropes. Drop kick, Boom. good drop kick to the head. Sell by the Hitman, good arm. Boom. And there we go. We're back in the lock. Brett Hart would be the more technician guy, yes. which again is is interesting. In the first twenty minutes, not that Brett hasn't had the you know good technique and gotten good technique you know technical moves, but mm -hmm. Michaels has definitely got more than probably what most people thought. But right, you would think that Brett Hart would be the more technical wrestler, while Sean is the the faster guy. Right, absolutely. I'd say in you know the the, the body size and the strength, it's probably mm. pretty even. Maybe Brett's got a slight, you know. S slight advantage oh, in the strength, strength right, right. but it's not it's not like it's Hulk Hogan versus one of these guys right, <laughs> right, like, right. they're similar hey, maybe so, we'll review a HBK and Hulk Hogan match one day no uh, not that SummerSlam <laughs> not that SummerSlam match mm -mm. <laughs> don't anybody ask for that one either hey uh, ask for it guys no I'm down I'm here for it <laughs> where Sean bumps everywhere every oh other it's room, great every other it's so thing. great uh, anyway go ahead <laughs> um, but it's just interesting that you know you kind of just look at you know Sean is the speed guy. Well, this is a mission Brett, lock by Sean too. Just shout out to that. Yes. Just like, you know, good, but, good spot right here. Just and, and, looks but good then Sean's got to worry about getting his pin, you know, shoulders pinned to the mat. Yep. Uh, um, so th it, it is just interesting that, you know, they're, they're similar, but there's, you know, each guy kind of has one strength. Right. Compared right. Compared to the other guy. So absolutely. No, and you're correct about that. I mean, like I said, just a good, just a good visual there. Good lock, good arm bar there. Looks real. Yep, yep, yep. And Brett, oh, nice. well, there we go. The technician, yep. right? And but. and there we go. Sean reverses again. Sean is a, so. And then also, if you look at this too, we talked about Brett trying to slow Sean down later on. And then when we get into it, Brett then starts working the back and the legs. Mm -hmm. Later on, it was like, okay, once I'm gonna get you little, you know, get you a little cloudy here. Let me work this. Yep, exactly. And so Sean is working the shoulder, and I, I think, and, and I'm, I'm gonna read more into this, but then back up to explain why I read more into in this. 
I feel like this is a situation where Sean is not the the technician here. Mm -hmm. So Sean probably trained for this match, quote unquote, trained for this match, got some good locks, got some good reversals, got some good things that he could use, but it isn't targeting a body part that quote unquote will hinder the hitman's ability to work. Yes. And I think that is something part of the psychology to say the less technical guy who probably just picked up some strategies doesn't have a plan for these these te technical moves. It's just more or less so Brett doesn't out technique him, right? So he can, like you said, lower the gap of that advantage that Brett has. Yep. I think that's a psychological thing. That's a chosen a, a choice that is made that's good here, right. because Brett's finisher doesn't require him using any arms, you know, whatever. Right. I but, mean, it's the sharpshooter. It's you know, usually leg drops, elbow drop. Like it's nothing that that shoulder or arm is going to hinder him from doing. Right. But so also uh, with Sean, his finishing maneuver, he it's not like he's got to work a body part like. For as many Bret Hart matches we've all seen, he mm -hmm. always, like you said, work on the leg, work on the hamstrings, mm -hmm. work on the you know the the you know the, the legs. Sean just needs one second yeah. to hit that, yeah. so he doesn't have to worry about let me you know work on the head or work Oof, on the, the leg or whatever. So, just a so knee shot. it it wor it Oof. makes sense character wise too because he can kind of just work on whatever he wants. Good to. sale, good Sh shoulder to the turnbuckle. Mm -hmm. I mean, into the pole to the turnbuckle. Man, that's just this is good work here. Yeah. Just really good work here. So now we start to see we're at the thirty-seven minute mark. Match is starting to pick it's up, a, to little pick up a little bit. Yeah, we're getting a little bit more done than just laying on a mat. And Sean tries to yell at the camera guy for being in his way. <laughs> yeah. Sean just you know wants to be uh, you know that guy. Yep, 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 yep. Again, he is a little bit of a prick. Yeah, that is, that's part of his image too, off and on the camera. Yeah. So <laughs> yep. Nice little scoop up here and good Shorter, job, Brett. Protect yourself. Brett. Yep, yep. Here we go. Good Ugh. move. Brett's selling that like his life is... Look at it, his life is... <laughs> Get out of my way, dude! <laughs> Brett's selling that like his life is in danger. Oh, like no. he just, oh. I look at Brett here, you know, slowly getting up to his feet, holding the arm down, like, oh, oh my shoulder. My shoulder. Uh, boom, Ugh, right right on the, the shoulder. shoulder. Yep. Good move. I love Brett that Brett doesn't collapse into nothingness. He just falls to his knees to be mm -hmm. like, oh, are you kidding me here? Well, Sean like picks it up. Oh, great. I mean, yep. I, I do love this right here. I do like this move. Yep. What is it called? The fisherman's hook or whatever? I think it's I think something it's like that. Yeah. Uh, uh, slam there, suplex or whatnot. And uh, Sean's in firm control of this. Even, I would say from right now, Sean is, I, I wouldn't say he's been in complete control, but I've never felt like anything Brett has done has been detrimental to Sean yet. Uh, another right into the turnbuckle, you know, shoulder right into the turnbuckle. Yeah. I feel like all the move work that Sean has done has been detrimental to, to Brett, but I feel like Brett hasn't really done anything to Sean yet. Yeah. Agreed. They just... The moves that Brett has done have just been basic things that haven't really... Yeah, like you you much. and your little brother could do in the backyard. <laughs> my, my big brother, but yes. Well, I mean, in general, people. I, I, I know. <laughs> Most of the big brothers put the little ones in the headlock. Yeah, he, so. My big brother couldn't beat me up. So. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. never mind then. Sorry. Excuse us. Hey, Clay. <laughs> <laughs> Get some axe handle action here. Still keep it on that same shoulder, yep, right? Yep. Good, good psychology. Pick a body part, even if you you know not going to use it for your finishing hold, but that's okay. Yeah. Like, at least you're doing something. Well, it also makes sense you have your trainer here too, so I'm pretty sure it feels like the trainer gave you some moves before this match. You know, yeah. Sean went back to the, went back to the OG to go. Hey, look, I need to <laughs> yeah. tighten up some of my technique here. <laughs> Give me a plan. Yep, yep, yep. And, Sean and here the ropes. comes here Oof. comes Brett trying to make a little bit of a comeback, but and, a nice stopper there. Yep. Sean does, I guess, want to say like an armbar DDT. I want to yeah. call it that or. And he goes back to the arm bar. Brett tries to lock it. Sean pushes the hand away. And anybody that watches the New Age wrestler now knows that's like the move. Get, you know, get the it's hands to lock. Interesting that that was the wrong arm, though. Yes. And I think yeah. Sean figured that out real quick. And that's why he stopped and went to the other arm. But good. Just, you know, sell it. Like, he just keep going on. That's it. Yeah, there yeah, we go. Realized, I think Brett probably told him that's my wrong yeah. arm. Because <laughs> yeah. we know Brett would know, right? I, yes. I really think, feel like Brett's like, go to the other arm. And yeah. he's like, oh, okay. Jackass. <laughs> Moron. <laughs> And Brett gets off his gets off the mat again, so he doesn't worry about the count. Now, but he still has to fight out of the bar, though. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Gets in, ref, looking. You know, Herbert, you you want to quit, Brett? You want to quit? No, man. You see, I'm moving, bro. Shut up. Get away, Come on, Earl. <laughs> oh, gets him. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. And this is supposed to be a spot where we think we think oh! it's going to go right to Sean's face, foot to the face, almost hillish, very hillish right there. Almost, but, I mean, but it works because it got him, it gets him out of the move, yep. right? Like so, no one's like, wait a second, right? Why did you do that. Why would the face go and just stomp a guy in the face? Yeah. 
Deshaun again work, working them working bread over, man. It's just right, right now, I mean, just looking at these guys, I mean, they, they they're making me tired at this point now. Yes. Just watching them and there we go. Brett look at Brett on the boot, trying to see if he can get it to a reversal. Good luck by Sean, man. And I think also when you look at this match, more people are impressed by Sean's ability to Almost be a chameleon with his style. Mm-hmm. We don't see this from Shawn Michaels. And I think I, I can make an argument, like, until he goes into his second run, you don't really see this style from Shawn ever. Not really. Yeah. Yeah, like, I mean, and it's something impressive to say when, you know, we talked about a couple of shows again who we thought was the best. That's what I'll probably say, HBK. This is part of the reason why, because you know, HBK can wrestle with any kind of style with anybody. True. I love Brett the Deaf, and everybody knows I'm a Bret Hart mark. But Brett had a style that he kind of stayed safe in. Mm-hmm. And I know he's had great matches with High Flyers and Big Men and all that. But it was always, I'm going to say the same kind of match, but you knew what you were getting. Right. Oh, right. On a good spot there. Nice move. Uh, Sean, you, he could wrestle any style, but also be better than the person who had the style. <laughs> like, right. you know, he, he out-techniques Brett. Like, you know, if he goes to the Undertaker, goes try to do to a power game, you know, with... When he wrestled guys like Angle, on, like it's he can wrestle different styles and be almost better than the person whose style he's wrestling as. Right, I think that's what makes Sean the best. Oh, look at that sale and, and stuff like that. You, <laughs> that, that's what you're here for wrestling for. <laughs> yeah. You know, you get slingshot into the turnbuckle. Sean hits it, and that Joker turns into Frankenstein. Oh, he, he misses the turnbuckle. <laughs> hit the post. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. That was the post on that one. Okay, so, so let me try to get this I, pin, bro. I, I bet the announcer going, he's knocked out, two. he's knocked out. Is, oh. that, is that the first official attempt, pin attempt this match? Like, that wasn't a submission hold or anything? Like, I don't think anybody tried to attempt I think the there pin. was that one cradle in the first, like, five minutes. Oh, yeah, well, Sean, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not the cradle, but the roll-up yeah. thing. Oh, his shoulders are on the mat for two seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, that right, was, like, right. the first, like, real Sean attempt, reverses right? and Brett right into the turnbuckle. Give Brett some uh, more that turnbuckle love there. Take that. Sean's like, man, just fall that down. your mom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, Throw in the towel, Stu. <laughs> Throw in the towel, Stu. Oh, oh, he tries to go for the splash. I love this spot here. This is a beautiful spot. Take Boom. that. Boom. Uh, uh, one and more. Go ahead. You know what? Take this. Take uh. that one. <laughs> this one's for your Sean. Mind. Sean's just... Look at that. Look oh, <laughs> and I'm injured. Oh, my God. Hey, and take him up. Oh, Ugh. that's a that's a classic Bret Hart move, yep. right? Finish off with the clothesline. Nice yep. classic Bret Hart move. Everyone's seen that. Yep. One, two. Oh, it's starting to heat up a little bit. I thirty know. minutes in. Yeah. Well, that's this the last thirty minutes. I feel like they do kind of. Well, I'm gonna say it's probably about five more minutes left that they kind of. I, I, I would say it's it, it starts the bulldog move. here. Nice Ugh. move, which he's done in the past. For yep. Anyone that's ever watched Bret Hart, that was a movie he used to do. You know, in the early nineties. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like it's it will it's starting to pick up now, but still it's not like a hundred percent. But it's like 25, 20 minutes left. So yeah, right yeah. around that point is when it really. Here's an odd spot going. here. Let me see what you think about this one. And I know people have watched this. Watch like so. Brett gets the powers off the top, uh-huh. and then he does what? Like uh, I know it pushes Earl Hebner like Sean does, but it's just a weird spot. Like I feel like it was planned, but I don't know like what was the plan of the spot. Yeah, that was really weird. Was it just that, like, <laughs> Brett, wake, wake your ass up, get up. Uh, I don't know if the, the plan of the spot was just to, sig- to signal to Sean, all right, now we got to pick it up, or, like, to kind of make some kind of referee distraction to kind of really get it going. Because after that moment, after that spot, the match does start to really yeah. power slam by Sean there. That is two interesting, count. because that's not, like, the other thing is, like, that's not a move that, like, you see Bret Hart do, like, Ever. before. Right? Ever, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, huh. So, I, and it just even the execution of it was kind of like, and Weird. I guess, Clunky. And part of me feels like it was like, well, Sean was supposed to try to avoid the hit, but take the hit, but, and, but not the ref. Like, it was supposed to be clunky like that on purpose, like as in Brett effed up, but it just doesn't, re- I don't have a reason for the spot. Pile driver. Nice uh. pile driver. Yep. I mean, and you know, pile drivers now are outlawed in WWE. Yes. Back then, you two showed her up. Uh, back then, you really damn sure only had the best of the best giving out pile drivers. Yes. Like, you weren't taking a pile driver from Joe Blow that just came up from uh, no. <laughs> from training camp. No, <laughs> like, no, no. Anybody who's an Austin fan knows exactly why. And he was done by a vet and Owen. And still, yeah. He yeah, so. never messed up anything in his life until that one, yep. you know, but it happens. So Brett's like, okay, well, all right. So now he go, and so then we get back to kind of this spot again. So that's why it makes me mystified. Was the spot originally wrong? And then so Sean hits him up. Now that you, now that I see this uh. now, 
I almost think that they did screw that up a little bit. Right, like maybe that Brett slipped happened. or something, or... Yes. And they ad-libbed it for, you know, two oh. minutes. And you were right, thanks to go for the pin, and Sean's like, nah, I want to beat him down a little bit. Nice high-flying move again, right? Yeah, like, right. Like we <laughs> talked about, though, like, he's a little quicker. Yep. So he's going to be able to get a, a, a quickness move off before Brett will. And we go to the ropes, coming off. Oh, Brett holds on to it. Sean gives him a little, give him a little piece of his mind for it. Take that, Brett. You want to hold on like, to the ropes, huh? Huh? I feel like Sean thought something else was going to happen there too, and I feel like Brett mm. meant to do that, but Sean thought he was coming off the ropes. Two, nope. Brett kicks on out of there. Sean's like, Jesus Christ, I'm exhausted. This guy has Tired. to be exhausted, but yet this Joker keep kicking out. So Sean takes him to the ropes again. Here we go. Uh. Mm. So Brett. <laughs> Brett gives us the old collapse in. All right, sweet chin music time. Like sweet chin music. Oh, Brett's like, nah, 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 nah. nah. Brett got caught up in the ropes, though, too. Yes. <laughs> He's like, nah, 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 nah. But that's okay. I'm too smart for this. I did my homework. Oof. I'm tired, but uh, he didn't uh, do much of his homework because here comes Sean whee! coming off the top. <laughs> right in front of Stu Hart. Yep, yep, yep. And, and, and don't feel about classy. Yeah, and classy <laughs> Freddie Blassie. Yeah. Oh, Sean's like, all right, well, was that worth it? Like, you know, at a certain point, it is like, was that worth it? Or, yeah, you did get your guy's suicide down. Oh, like, all right. Uh, let's talk to him real quick. Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. Come on, at. camera. Yeah, they're professionals. You, we didn't even see their lips move. He's like, you stupid. <laughs> 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 you think I would have came off that top rope? Uh. <laughs> Brett's still out. Brett's like, oh, man. Uh, is, is this match over yet? Yeah, no. <laughs> Brett's like, no. I got 26 more minutes. Jesus Christ. Okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, but plus, I mean, just be joking like that does play into the end a little bit. Yeah. And Sean's like, look at Sean. He's just laid out, taking his break. And then Sean rolls back out. I can hear the king now calling Sean Michael stupid. Yep. <laughs> and I can hear Stu. Come on, son. Get back in there. Sean throws him in there. But I think it's a certain point, too, that both these competitors want to pin or submit that guy in the ring. Yep. Comes off. Oh. oh! Oh, and then Brett reverses it, too, and he kicks mm. out. Which is also kind of a Shawn Michaels staple now, like the the the, the splash yep. to the to the reversal. Because yep. later on in his career, Shawn and Jericho yep. do that same spot because it's kind well, of become a Shawn Michaels staple. I was staple. just going to point out that, you know, remember that spot right there where he comes off the top for later on in the match. So. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, flip over by Shawn. Loses his footing, does the cradle. Nice cradle. Two, and Brett kicks out of there. Not so quick, Cheyenne. There we go, Sean, with the elbow drop. Mm -hmm. And But yeah, again, just a beautiful match. They're both putting on the clinic here. I know the match is slower from the rip, but they're both putting on a the clinic, they though. Are, yeah. Just some technical wrestling. There we go, shot to the stomach. Gets Brett, looks like he's going to try to do a suplex here. Fisherman's, Fisherman's yep. Plus. Made famous by... Mr. Perfect. Yes, sir. Who shares the same Two. birthday as me, by the way. So hey. No shout wonder. out to Mr. Perfect. No wonder you're a perfect gent. Exactly. Yeah. There's a reason why he's one of my favorites. Kurt Henning. Mr. Perfect. But, oh, yeah, he does the Fisherman Suplex. Robin, Kick, Brett kicks out at two. Robinsdale, Minnesota. All right. And we go to the hold rest. Now, we got some action there. So we did. We, we oh, can that, take that, this hand. That, right? was, that was a solid ten minutes worth of, you know, legit real stuff, yeah. real, real stuff right? And and a sleeper hold at this point makes sense because yep. they've been going for thirty five minutes, yep, so it yep, makes yep. sense. Brett thinks he escapes it, and uh, oh nope nope. And but see, those little moments right there are enjoyable because we have to imagine fatigue is setting in. Yes. And anybody who's played any sport or knows anything, when you are fatigued, you make stupid mistakes or you get a little careless. Mm -hmm. That was careless by Brett. You yes. break, you know, you break the hold, but you don't check to see if your opponent. It's still, you know, cable. But instead, you walk around and get put right back in a sleeper in probably a worse position. Because now you're on the ground. Yep. Because yep. of fatigue. And One. I... Oh. No, 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 not even a two count. <laughs> <laughs> like, right. like, nope. Nah, I'm still here. <laughs> and the crowd gets a little small pop there, but not not much. You not get a much. couple people in the back clapping, and then you got yeah, the guy just much. wants to be on camera, so you know he's yeah, right, doing right. his best. Oh, and just a, that's just a brutal slam into I did the turnbuckle that. there. I did that when I went to wrestling events too. So <laughs> I actually got on wrestling TV one time. All right, you get any royalty checks? No. Oh man. <laughs> we got actually, actually, I can think of I, two different shows I was ever picks I went up to reverse suplex. Sean reverses out of that one. Oh, oh, gets the elbow. 
Oh, nice kick. I know, mule, right? Mule kick type of thing. <laughs> Brett keeps coming back up, though. Brett keeps coming. Uh. Mm, I thought he was going to take the famous uh, bump to the chest. Yeah, move. yeah. He took it early. Oh! And the camera doesn't give us any credit for how well Sean sold Yeah, it. camera screwed yeah. that up so bad. doesn't give bad. any help. Brett's to his knees. He's exhausted. He's tired. You would think at this moment, hey, look, look, look at her, like, get away from him. Get away Go from him. Go away, <laughs> cameraman man. <laughs> yeah, get, get out away, of yeah. <laughs> Which, hey, smart move by the trainer. Ref can't count if he's dealing with you. So, you know, Sean, okay, hey. Maybe we'll be able to see this here. Here we go. Double feature here. Get on out of here, Sean. Oh, uh, what a good bump. That was better. Good bump. Great bump. That was better. Okay, look at see, you can't count because the train. Way to go, Jose. <laughs> Yay, that's, hey, look at Brett's trying to catch his breath now. He's walking to the ring, getting his bearings. Look at it. They, uh, they didn't show it. Brett smacks himself in the face. Then he's better. Well, you know, Sean has to wake up for the count now. <laughs> Brett, Brett's like, ah, whatever, I'm yeah. going out. Jose going to keep cheating anyway, see? Yeah. Well, Brett, Brett's trying to keep on him so, Brett, so Sean doesn't uh, catch his breath, right? Oh, absolutely. Uh, uh, take that. Now, we, now we're starting to see. I'm stronger. We're starting to see the excellence of execution now. We got the first real legitimate move to the back here. 20 minutes to go. Mm-hmm. A little more, but you know what I mean. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Jose's in the corner yelling some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> look at Sean. Like, even watch this. Like, these guys, you looking at this, you're like, these guys, like, I don't know how much is kayfabe or not, but like they look like they just, they're like, I'm over this match. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Right, gets him up back in the ring here. All right, and again, I I, I do want to say I just want to. I think some of the pride of this match is that like, these guys do want to submit or pin the guy in the ring. Because again, we could have let him sit up there for the count out, and they numerous times have gone and picked that guy up and got him back in there. Yeah. I wonder if we go back and watch all the stuff around this era, if they have some kind of commentary to the sort about you know beating these guys fair, and, you know. I would love to go back and watch it to see if mm -hmm. there's some commentary about wanting to pin them or right. submit them in the ring. Get a little Shawn Michaels butt action there a little every, bit. Every but, match has to have his butt. Yep. We know that. Brett's starting to work that back over now. And Brett's like, all right, this, 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 I'm, I'm tired of playing games now. I done played with your ass for 40 minutes. Yeah, here go we go. Go to these headlocks now. Uh, uh, now I got to get that back get that back tenderized. Yeah. So when it's time to get that sharpshooter on, you ain't going to do nothing but tap. The Bret Hart staple here. Off the second row. Yep, yep, yep. Come on. Come on. Come on, Shawnee. And boom. boom. Right there to the back. To the small of the back. <laughs> that got a little bit pop from the fans. Also, if we were going back to what we talked about, what was it a week ago, two weeks ago, last match, when we had the comment about Austin versus Sean, and we're like, oh, they got to protect each other. They can't be trying to hurt each other. I guarantee you, none of these moves Brett are doing to Sean's back is actually hurting his back. No, no, no. And, I, and this is what we're talking about. This is what we were like. Yeah. Austin should have took advantage of that yes. for his for his advantage there. Yes. So, but then we have Brett working over backbreaker. We but just didn't we all know him. there is a difference between Shawn Michaels and or, uh, Bret Hart and Stone Cold in terms of rest, pure wrestling ability. Yeah. Not saying that Austin, you know. Suck by any means, right? Well, Austin but is good at what he does. There's a reason Sh Bret Hart was then and still known as the you know the excellence of execution. One good of the spot best here. Wrestlers, good right? spot here. Mm. You're trapped. Yeah. Then mm. these are again these are spots where Sean's probably not really taking it on his back that hard. Well, he's probably Sean's probably intentionally taking it hard, but you can do these spots where it doesn't do like that spot. Yeah. Easy to do. There's probably nothing on the back. Yes. It's literally back jumping up and getting. Right on his back and stopping his feet down, like. And Sean's selling it like a champ. Unless you're Mabel and you almost break Diesel's back yeah. and in your house. <laughs> yes, unless you are Mabel. <laughs> Plus, I mean, those are that's bad on bad, so we can't really. <laughs> I don't know who to blame on that. I guess we'll blame oh, Mabel. No, but... it's totally Mabel. Yeah, there's, yeah. A reason, there's a reason why all Oof. of a sudden in '95 Mabel went from classic Sean bump there. And I love how to use that part. classic bump though. Instead of having Sean flip on out of it. Oh. oh. Back suplex from the top rope there. Beautiful, beautiful exchange there. Made Good spot. By Razor Ramon. Hey, yo. Chico. <laughs> One, two. And Sean kicks out. Oh, got, man. That got a little bit of a pop. Yeah, I yeah. think most people knew that wasn't going to, you know, get I don't know. Victory, you think so? But... Well, yeah, a three. Yeah, yeah, probably not a three. I feel like at this point, I mean, if you're watching the clock now, you're assuming that it's going to have to be some kind of pinfalls or submissions now. 
Like, you got to assume that somebody's going to score a point here and there. Like, right. But then I think I could be jaded for the fact that we've watched enough Iron Man matches that we've had it where the numbers go a little higher than, you know, what this match's numbers probably will be. So, yeah. Sean's not giving up. Brett's still getting the get strategy. He's still, he's still working the back here, which it feels more like a Bret Hart match. Like, I feel like after the about 25-minute mark, this match is starting to feel like what a Brett and Sean match would probably be to a, to a degree now at this yep. point. Now we're starting to get into, all right, yeah. we can start working, working now because yeah. then we can lay it on the line here. Yeah. Because a regular match for them would be about half an hour anyway. Mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. So... Sean's like, nope, nope, and power's up. Brett's like, come on, man. You just got to quit at this point. And Sean, give, give, me up. That, give me that victory. I know, right? Sean's up. Oh, oh, it's on the back. So, oh. get, get out of it. Use that speed. And look at Sean. Sean's, Sean's trying to get away back. now. Gets off the rope. Oh, yeah. Uh. One, two. Oh, and good break by Brett. I always nice. love the... <laughs> the, the kick to the face, knees, knees to the head. Yeah, like to break that, the, to break that pin. And Brett's like, "All right, now we gotta get this back in my wheelhouse, man." Yeah. Sean, you've been eating too long on this match. You didn't beat me up. You didn't warm me out. Now I gotta wear you out because we gotta make sure we're ready to finish you. Good old nice head. Good eat nice and easy soup. Oh no, oh, take him to the top. Taking it to the top. All right. I feel like Sean, um, like they. Almost screwed that up, so they're trying to fix it to make make it look good. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. But it worked out, so it wasn't well, that bad. I think oh, also too, the, yeah. I think a lot of it's too. They're trying to play into the fatigue. True. So like you know, Brett tries to set him up there. Sean fights out of it. Is not really clean. Is not crisp because they're tired. And and again, we don't know how tired they are. Really are in real life at this right. point. You know, that's a classic Bret, Bret Hart. Oh, I love it. I love it. One, two, mm. nothing. Gotta be thinking, what do I have to do? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> but and so we go into some more of it, uh, some of the tidbits on this th- this match here. Um, I know from what I remember that this match gets a uh, oh, and there we go, another spot. Oh, oh Jose, get out of the way, Jose, Jose, no way, Jose, <laughs> you can't take that kind of bump. Brett's like, come on, guys. Like, shit, we out here giving you as a show and you out here sitting on your hands, LA crowd. Yeah, that was. Uh, I was, I was going to say, like, I know this match, and we'll go into this when we get further down the end, but I know this match is very, very divisive amongst both fan groups, but even just wrestling fans in general. Oh, oh man, get play, out of the way, Jose. Jose. Come no on. Way, Jose. Don't take that bump. No way. <laughs> Jose. <laughs> Sean's part of it. Like, Jose's like, oh, oh Jesus. I signed up for this. <laughs> and there's that one guy again. Yep, 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 yep. And actually, funny enough, the guy in the pink and the, his his wife in the green, they're at like every wrestling event too, by the way. They, I know they're married. Mm. They read something on them. Get back I in I still haven't figured out who that one guy is. So if anyone knows, I want to know. <laughs> Brad doing a little barking at probably some Sean fans there. Yeah. Letting them know that, nah, man, we, we, we're not doing this here. But, yeah, I was saying, this match is very divisive amongst a lot of the fan groups. And, we, and we'll, we'll talk about that more as we get closer to the end. But when I, I when I rewatched this, like, I it's funny. My wife went to the store and came back. And she's like, this match is still on. I'm like, I, yeah. what, what did you not get about 60 minutes? All right, man. She goes, well, I thought it was like less than 60 minutes. Where, like, they say it's an hour, but it's really like 45 minutes. And I'm like, touche. Uh, yeah, that is true. <laughs> good belly-to-belly suplex there by Brett. Um, but it is the vice of one, and I think a lot of it is because of the pacing. I enjoy the pacing. I enjoy what we saw. I feel like was, every time you're about to get to that point where you're about to be like, ah, uh, they, they give you something. They give you a little mm-hmm. bit here, and then, like I say, I feel like it's right now, this match, this match is pretty, I ain't gonna say it's ramped up, ramped up, but it's, it's going. We're not getting into the rest holds that we got all the first 30 minutes of the match. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 it it's going. It's, um... Yeah, it's going, but yeah, yeah, Brad attacks the back, collapses Sean, (laughs) attacks the back again, collapses Sean again. Sean's like, (laughs) just do, just do the move and get it over with. (laughs) Come on, can we make that clock go any faster? (laughs) Then we got Sean wrapped up here. Gives, ah man, just nice uppercut. Absolutely, nice uppercut. They're just working. It's just just work now at this Uh. point. Now, I, know I feel like s- that actually hit him because Sean definitely like 
grabbed his face to check to see if he was clean right. on that one. Well, and um, I know you said that you heard that they had planned this match out from minute one like, to base, cause, 60 minute. Because, of course, we all know Brett like, loved to have everything planned Roll out. Rolled up there. Two, kicked out, yep, and he likes out the to ring. Have everything exactly planned out. Right. right, he's one of those guys. Like, like what Randy Savage has, been, you know, it's, been, it's known been, for, right? been known for that everything had to be at minute five. We're going to do this at minute whatever. So, she, Brett and Sean actually sat down and had a conversation. Oh my goodness! Um, before this match, <laughs> to plan this match out, and they planned out. Not every minute, but like every like the most high flying thing that Brett does. Boom! Suicide dive. There we go. And Shawn Michaels is dead. Um, and I love how Shawn, or, uh, it's not Shawn, but Hart like almost looks like he's gonna pick him up, and then you see him go like, and eh, like, I'm gonna see if I can get a count up victory. Right yeah, now. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's getting late in the match now, so fuck it. <laughs> like, get, get his cell phone up. But look, at Brett's playing to the crowd. Yep. Good camera shot too. Mm-hmm. Gets both of them in the picture. Gets the count. Then they switch. Even though Brett should never turn your back on your opponent. Yeah, well, his opponent's not in the ring, so. <laughs> like, Shaw, Shaw's like, back, just back away. Like, and then Brett, like an idiot, stops the count by trying to yell at Jose, I guess, being around. I don't know what he was even trying to yell at the ref I for. I think he was trying to tell him that he, he'd been out there for 10 seconds and I should get the victory, but right. Earl Hubner decides that he wants to, you know, every one count is a, you know, three or four seconds, so. It's given Michaels a good solid six, a good solid minute at least. Right, right. Fix your hair. Down to about the eleven minute mark's about to come up soon here. Brett pulls pulls Sean up by his hair, you know, it's, something it's, that we'll know he'll do a later in a real fight. Yep. <laughs> oh, oh, Sean reverses. Move. Oh, Brett reverses. Technician. Oh, oh good, good move. One, two. Good suplex oh. into a pin, man. Oh man. Suplex city. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the good, the good one, the good part of town, not uh, that Brock Lesnar part where yeah, no, no. just a bunch of hooligans and thugs yeah. throwing each other around. Uh, <laughs> oh, those thugs. <laughs> yeah, man, you know how it is. But uh, so you know, we we're getting we're winding down to the end here. Both men are exhausted. I do see some rumbling in the crowd though, like we're getting a little bit of action here. And well, Sean, they, look at Sean's fighting for his life here. Well, they have the clock there too, so they know that there's. 11, 10 minutes left too. Oh, I well, know. I'm just saying, but we got yeah. to start to see a little bit, like, you know, a little bit of rumbling in the crowd. I was like, all right, come on now. Something, something's got to give now. Here we go. Oh, nice, kick, nice stiff kick to the face by Brett. Take there. that. Uh, mm. Take this punch. Give you another one here. Boom. Uh. Sean's just hanging on by thread now. And it looks like Brett just has total control of this match at yes. this point. And Brett, you know, headbutt there. But he's like, a beautiful but, sell by Brett. because yes, he's tired. He's been wrestling for 50 minutes. Absolutely. So he just gave your opponent a headbutt, which is going to hurt you a little bit too. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. Like you said, I mean, he's exhausted. Like, you, you said it perfectly. He's exhausted. He's tired. And Sean's like, no, no. I'm not. I'm not. A little more submission. Wear him down a little more, but he's on his back too. Mm-hmm. He's sitting on his lower back. Yep, yep, yep. So getting to that, into uh, it. his move, the sharpshooter, of no, course. No wonder in a few years uh, Sean's back is injured in that Austin match. See? Yeah, exactly. It's because of Brett. It's good. Iron Man, man. <laughs> Come on. Iron Man match, man. Brett did it to him. He did it on purpose. Right, right, right. He screwed me, huh? I'll finish your career with a back injury. <laughs> uh <laughs> Jose's like, man, I done took bumps in this match. You better fucking do something, Sean. <laughs> Shit. Had me get my brains beat out yeah. for, 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 for an L. I'm going to wear this sweater out here, too. <laughs> better leave Jose alone, bro. <laughs> hey, Jose, that sweater was fly in the 90s, man. I got your back, homie. Do my man Jose like that. We can't all be, uh, you know, classy Freddy. Uh-huh. <laughs> There you go, Sean. Like, give up, Sean. Just give up, man. It's not. It's no. It's no harm in getting up. You give up, though. See, that's the thing in Iron Man. When somebody like gets the pinfall or submit, do they like break them and start over again, or is it like if I got you in the sharpshooter, you can't get out? I can get like numerous pinfalls in that one no, position. Like you get the fall, then they have to like separate. Okay. And okay. They're like, okay, go. Gotcha. And then they gotcha. Get to go do it again. But like, and there's famous, uh, you know, like the. Of course, not this one, but other ones that like WWF has done where like, it's actually really smart where like the bad guy will, 
use like a chair. Right, right. Hit the face. Get, so, so it'll take get, one loss. Get, but yeah. then he pins him two or three times in a row. <laughs> right, right. And he's like, oh, look, what a great idea. Right? <laughs> like, yeah. So I was like, no, nah, I'm not out of here yet. Uh, now we're coming down to the, to the last moments here. Like, Heaven's come on, gotta we got to sure get a not, pinfall or a submit here. Heaven's got to make sure he's not cheating over there. Mm-hmm. Don't, don't, don't grab that hair. Don't pull his hair. Yeah. Jerry Lawler would say has too much grease in him. Yeah. <laughs> I admit, Jerry, you're not wrong. <laughs> you're not wrong at all. Oh, he uh, breaks it. All right, he breaks the headlock. Uh, uh, now we're in almost to the seven-minute mark, guys. Let's do it. Shot off the ropes. Uh, oh, oh, double, double clothesline. And, oh, that's just, uh Both of these guys One. are like, they're about to die. <laughs> Look and at Sean. They're yeah. both tired. They got to get their hair out of their face. Absolutely, absolutely. But Brett to his feet first. And it's just a, it's a shame that these guys couldn't get along in real life, man. Yeah. I mean, I mean, besides this match, we're gonna say we're gonna rate what we feel about this match anyway at the end. But like, they just worked so well together. Mm -hmm. And even before they had to beef, if you look at it, I mean, they've matched up numerous times before, where people don't realize. And yeah. usually, Bret Hart got the victories in those matchups. But, yeah. um. They just always have worked good, great together. I mean, that's why I think Brett was open to these with Sean. But Sean had his own personal demons at this time, and Brett had an ego too as well. So uh, yeah, they both did. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, most of shit's on Sean though. Oh Yeah, but sort of Brett Brett's got a big ego too and Oh no, I'm saying most of the issues but why they had to be broken apart is because yes. of Sean. Yeah, okay, yeah. Like yeah, you can't yeah. tell another wrestler that you're not gonna protect them in the ring, like I can hate you, but if we're going to wrestle because this is a business and it's professionalism, and I go, hey, look, we ain't liking each other, but you, I guarantee you I will never hurt you. Mm -hmm. And you go, I can't promise you the same. Yeah. Hell no, I'm not going to be cool with you. Like, what are you talking about? You're about trying to end my career. Like, right. And we know from wrestling history. Uh, eat that. Nice, a nice one. Stops the sharpshooter there. But we know from Brett being a wrestling historian, a la like Sean, we know wrestlers that have went out and hurt other wrestlers oh, yeah. and ended their careers because they didn't like them. Yes. Brett going for the figure four. Woo! I want to say, <laughs> famous by you know who. And to the single leg uh, Boston Crab. There we go. Good move. You don't see that very often Not either. Not at all. And he is working that over. And also, too, let's just put it in, in perspective. This, it shows the quote unquote is supposed to make the sharpshooter look stronger, too. Mm -hmm. They got the single leg Boston Crab. Sean, you know, is begging for it, but he gets to the ropes and. You know, it's not my finisher, but it's just, it's still the warm up. <laughs> it's the appetizer to the entree. <laughs> Look at Brett's leaning in there, too. He, you got to give me that five count. Yeah, I gotta that's get true. Off. That's true. Rules are rules, ref. <laughs> Come on. Plus, in this era, they would talk about Sean would be so psyched out of his mind. He don't even remember half the shit he did. Yeah, exactly. Yep, here we go. Uh, Brett, classic. Stable. Boom. Yep. We gave him one earlier in the match. And he said, go back to the well. If it ain't yep. broke. Don't fix it. Yeah, yeah. Just keep working and them over. Five minutes. Boom. Brett's getting all his greatest hits off now. <laughs> Coming up. About, about to come off the second rope with yeah. the elbow drop. Just like they planned it. Yeah. Oh! oh take that. Sounds like, here you go. Give you that, that preamble to the sweet chin. Yeah. <laughs> the fans are still sitting on their hands. Yeah, I think at this point, you, you, you've almost lost the fans here at this point. Like, it doesn't no, matter what you're going to do. Finish your yeah, yeah. At this point. And yeah. they both get up at the same time, which is great. Brett is technically, I don't want to say fresher, but he's been doling out most of the pain. Nice drop kick. Mm hmm. Sean still gets up slow. Brett's, Brett, Brett can't even stand in the corner. So. <laughs> yeah, they both got to get help. Oh. oh, nice move there. Sean's going to go and get him out of this uh, turnbuckle to get him in another one. Oh, Ooh, the classic the Brett. Classic what we about. Brett Hart move. Chest straight into the turnbuckle. It's almost as famous as the Ric Flair flip over the turnbuckle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or even Sean's tumble up to tumble back yes. down. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> now we got here. We're coming to the conclusion. We're about to hit the three minute mark now. Sean whips it. Brett reverses. Comes off the road. Oh, Boom. classic Sean. And. Do we get it? Usually when he does that, we get the flip up. Do we get the flip up? The nip up. <laughs> and oh, we did get it, but the camera did. doesn't he catch it. it the <laughs> camera. Oh. 
You know, so every time we watch these matches, it's about two, three times in the every match. Every match. The camera just misses every something. Every match. Like, that's a staple of uh, of Sean's moves. Like, he does it and he, he is the flip up, you know? Damn it, Kevin Dunn. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, spinning elbow. Here we go. Brett's out again, gets it to his feet. Sean's mounting this momentum. Regular, uh, all right, here we go. Sean gets to the top. Here comes an aerial maneuver. Yep, yep, yep. Nice. Ooh. Double X and Brett just collapses. It's just like. One, two. At any moment, if you wanted to believe that Brett would have probably got it, it was that. Like, yep. Brett just collapsed on his yep. ass. Like, <laughs> that was more like, I don't know if the move hurt more. Or just, I'm just tired. I'm just tired. <laughs> Sean going for the, the suplex, suplex there. Boom. Uh, textbook there. Get up, all right. Sean, now, you know, Sean's getting off his staples now. Mm-hmm. So, at this point, if you're the crowd, you got to feel like Something's one of these finishes happen. are coming soon. Yeah. Like, they're and both getting two, off their moves. two minutes left. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Connects on the drop. elbow. Yep. Absolutely. One, two. Nope. Oh. Brett still ain't done yet. Sean, you got to tune up the band if you're going to finish him, man. You, you can't just. Up. You just can't just keep doing these moves, man. Gets Brett to his feet. Is this where the... Oh, no. I thought it was one of the other ones. Mm. Yeah. Eat that. Nice got move red. here by Sean. Boom! Oh, got it. Get the pin. And he doesn't go for it, which I always thought was just a weird moment that he didn't take the pin there. And that was a weird camera. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what the hell that was. Mm-hmm. And then Sean's pulling out all the stops here, oh, man. Here we go. Nice. Oh, got him. Into the pin. One, two. Oh, Ooh. Sean should have pulled the shorts, man. Yeah, should have pulled the tights. <laughs> You ain't cheating, you ain't trying. Mm-hmm. Brett's back up, trying to get back his win. Reversal there. Oh, that was kind of sloppy. That I think was... Brett's supposed to come into the corner hard. Yeah, but, but it leads to... Brett's dead on his feet. Oh! oh. Two. Nope, nope, nope. What is that, the, what, Heracarana? Heracarana. Yeah, into the pin. Right now, you just think they're on zombie mode, both of these guys mm-hmm. here. Mm. Get a nice little body slam there. Sean, uh, and there, Sean collapses. <laughs> Come on, Sean. One minute. Come I know. on, Sean. Tune up the band. That's where everybody, look at everybody. like, get up. Come get up. on, Sean. Get up. Even Jose's like, Come on. Root go, them on. Go, go, Come on. We're getting there, man. We, we, we got to finish this. We're so close. He makes his way up to us slowly. Brett gets to his feet now. And just this is a great spot here, guys. 40 seconds left. Boom. Oh, no. Brett's in the shot. The crowd's going insane. They're, they're like, finally. Insane. Yes. Finally. And the for all the time in the entire match, we've seen Sean go up on the top rope. And every time he's it's connected something. Yeah, connected he's pretty much connected. Yeah. Until 40 seconds left. Yeah, yeah. He's in the sharpshooter. I mean, you just, oh, come on, Sean. Just tap. Come Bro, on. Is he going to tap? Come is on, Sean. Tap? 15. Ton, it's 10 over. 10 seconds. I know. Come on, Sean. Just tap. The crowd is now chanting. Four, tap. Tap. Three, two, one. What happened? It's over. It's over. Brett's, Brett retains. I mean, it's over. Ah, Brett retains. It. It's over. I mean, he, you know, you have to beat the champion. The champion doesn't have to beat the, the, <laughs> the competitor. Brett says zero. It's over, man. All right. Brett, get your oh, belt. Oh, Even Earl gonna... gives him the belt. Come on, Brett. Get Gorilla your belt. on Gorilla, man. Ain't, you, man. Get out of here, Gorilla. We don't care. Oh, Jose helping him. Oh, he'll go help him up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, help you. Brett's like, I'll man, I'm going to get you. my stuff. Yeah, well, I'm, see you. Bye. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to get the hell up out of here because, you know, ain't worth me staying. So we are going to pause here because this is a lot of uh, pageantry here. So, guys, at this point, we are going to jump forward to two hours. 38 minutes and 10 seconds. If we can make that happen, or where we should we? All right, start there. Okay, so at this point, to fill everybody in before we start, so at two, two hours, 38 minutes and 10 seconds, Brett gets his belt, starts heading up the ramp to be like, hey, I'm done. We made it 60 minutes. I win. Yeah. It doesn't matter. What happens next? Gorilla Monsoon is there, as we saw, gets yep. in the ring, sp- speaks to the ref, they yep. give up, no, okay, well, we must have a winner, this is going to go to sudden death overtime, and the person who gets the first victory 
wins. Yeah, so no time limit. Throw it out the window. First victory, first win. So first. only thing you missed, guys, was the, all that that pageantry. Yep. And Brett gets pulled back. And if you and, go... And Brett looks pissed. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. That's the thing, too. Yeah, he's pissed. And then, which we'll, when we end this, we'll talk about... Yes. This is, we'll, again, we'll the inkling of the first angle of Brett yeah. turning heel. But he gets there. He gets back in the ring. And now we're going to start in mm-hmm. two minutes. Uh, two, I'm sorry, two hours, 38 minutes, 10 seconds, and five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Brad's like, ring, ring the damn bell. bell. Okay. Ring the damn bell. Bell's, Bell's run. Ring. Uh, Boom. Take that. Back I'm just going to back. Just going to work your back over now, you, you punk. Boom. Yeah, look at that. Uh. Boom. Boom. Now the, now the crowd is like, okay, anything can happen, right? Yes, it's yeah. It's sudden death. So Absolutely. Now we, now we really have to watch. We weren't watching the first 55 minutes, but now we really got to watch right now. <laughs> That's some hating shit there. <laughs> We're watching a friend with back body drop there. Brett just targeting his back. He's like, look, I've already weakened him up now. And all I got to do is just finish him off now. Mm-hmm. I just got to finish this plate. Give him the back. Here we go. The third, I think the third one of this match. Yep. Yeah, you know, backbreaker there. Sean's just dead to the world here. Brett's like, Brett's on him too. Like, Brett's not even giving him time to rest. There's no walking around. Brett's like, no, hell with this. Yep. You done lit my fire by making this match start all over. Sean oh. reverses. Oh, oh! super kick. But it's over. He doesn't really like get all of it, but it's over. He got the him. The crowd it, it, is going crazy. Brett's out. Uh, Brett, oh, Brett stirs first though. But somehow Brett moves before Sean does. Brett moves because Sean's been getting the brakes beat off him for the know, last. I know. <laughs> oh, now the, the the famous Bret Hart knee injury. Oh, uh, every <laughs> match, every match, Bret Hart's got to hold his knee. Yeah, that that knee's gimpy, man. Yeah. That knee's gimpy, bro. That's all thing my dad it's, always so it's, it's, it's consistent, bro. Yeah, my dad every every time dad and I would watch wrestling back in the day. But why does Bret Hart always get a knee injury? Yeah, I, I don't know. yeah gimpy knee, man. Shit. I got an uncle just like him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Brett stumbles to his feet, falls down, Brett's and Sean's inching. the hell out of the sh- sweet Sh- Hey, music. look. Sean's Sean, looks like he can't even walk. I know. Sean's like, I can get to the band members here. Oh. Stand it up. up Tune yeah, it yeah. up. Walk right Bow. into it. Oof. And that, he got Well, he got all into that one. One. one two. two three. three. And it is over. It is official. It is over. And for people who are watching at home, that was, was Sean Michael's parents, by the way. If you want, at two hours, forty-one minutes, and forty-four seconds, you get to hear the classic, "The Boy Who Dream Realized." That is yeah. probably true. <laughs> right. So again, that is in two hours, forty-one minutes, and forty-four seconds for the guys at home who love this match and always remember that moment. That, that that is right there. Uh, I wonder if that's when Sean tells. No, it is. He, can to, he, he tell he tells. That's exactly when he tells Earl Hebner, tell him to get out of here. Yeah, so people don't know, Sean basically told Earl to get Brett basically the F out of the here. The F out of here because this is my moment and yep. he's ruining my moment. By by selling the super By su- selling yeah. the super kick. Yes, to make your look you make your move look strong. Yes. <laughs> and that was this is almost like the start of the major beef because oh there's Brett's son, he's pissed. Um that really is his son. Um and he oh, and they got to do the look off, right? This is going to lead to future stuff. Yep, yep. As he's getting the title, Brett looks pissed. I'm out of here. Yep, 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 yep. But yeah, that he legitimately tells Earl Hebner, "You got to get him out of here so I can celebrate." And Brett's this is hot. look at this. Look Brett's at him hot. Pissed. Uh, they gave him the Canada the Canadian flag and he throws that. it away. I don't even want that. I love my people, but this is just uh, this is I just. I am pissed. Well, and this when we go, when we I'm talk about in real life and in kayfabe. And when also we talk about it sows the seeds. You know, people that don't know Brett, eventually starts going into this thing about how everybody's screwing Brett, how everybody's just doing stuff to kill Brett. You know, the, the match was sixty minutes. I wrestled sixty minutes. He didn't beat me. I he didn't, I didn't lose yep. to him. He didn't beat me. You made extra rules. Like that sucks. Yep. You know, I There's... think it was a cage match. Like it's always just one little thing here yep. and there. And Brett just takes animosity and he turns this classic heel turn, whereas Brett's a heel in the U.S., yeah. but a face everywhere else, else in the world. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> yes. Yeah, which is hard to do, guys. I mean, that, that's that's a special type of angle that you can pull off because usually when you're a heel, you're a heel everywhere except for your hometown. Except for your hometown yeah. or home country. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. If you're a foreign guy. If you're a face, you're a face everywhere except for, like, the person you're fighting. It's their home. Yeah, again, hometown or country. So you go through this whole thing, and now Sean's the champion. 
you already, like you said, didn't want to drop the belt to him, but you did it. You did business. Sean wasn't particularly classy, and I love the whole him trying to put the belt on Sean, and Sean's just like, fuck it, just leave me alone, watch. Yeah. Uh, he's not really classy about, you know, the, him, you know, taking yeah, over the belt. He's, he's like, yeah, see, yeah. see? <laughs> what a dick move. No, oh, come on, man. It's, it's, it's Sean. We know. It's Sean. I know, but still, like. Uh, yeah, you just put on this. It's wrestling. so much subtle things that, like, you don't see at the time, but now that you know, like, how much of a. Yeah. What he, how he really was backstage, like you actually see it now, like, right? Yeah. So let's go to what we talked about earlier. We were going, we hit on a lot of stuff earlier, and then we're going to wrap up here really quick in a whirlwind of everything. Yes. So we talked about the match being slower and some of the dissenters on both camps about the pace of the match. Mm-hmm. I know you're in the camp of match is too slow. Absolutely. See, I'm in the camp of I, I think the match is intentionally slow, but it tells a story from it. And that's why I think. This whole video, I was trying to put the story elements in what they're trying no, to tell. I, but regardless of that, you still, you're like, I don't give a damn no. if they were writing and never in the story. It's too, it's too slow. Too slow. Okay. Way too many rest holds. The, the entire 20 minutes is just, yada, yada, yada. You could skip, you could skip at least 20 to 30 minutes of this match. But see, I feel like if you skip 20 30 of this match, the, 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 when they start picking up, it doesn't feel the same. It doesn't feel as earned. For me, because then you're like, why? to sit there and wait 20 to 30 minutes. Well, yeah, because you, you're doing, they're submitting it. They're, they're wearing each other's down. They're being technical. They're doing moves that real fighters would probably do in a boxing match. Like most boxers don't come out and try KOing each other, unless you're Tyson. Yeah. Most boxers come out and fill you out for a couple of rounds, figure out what your strategy is, change their strategy, and then start working it. And I think you see that, especially with Brett, come out, see the strategy was going to work, ain't working, <laughs> flip his strategy, Gets a little bit more steam, but Sean's still keeping up. And then finally, he's like, F it. I'm going to go back to what made me me. Mm-hmm. You see Sean's strategy is like, okay, I'm not going to let you out-tech me. Because if I get out-technician, I'm not going to last in this match. Yep. He kind of gets, the point where he gets Brett out of his comfort zone. Sean still gets into his moments and tries to move the match closer to what his pace is. Realizes that Brett's not going to let him do that. So he starts, at, at a certain point, like we talked about, it seems like Sean is always just one second in front of Brett every time Brett tries to switch modes psychologically for the match. That, I mean, this the ending shows it. Mm-hmm. I mean, he hits the super kick that he doesn't get very well, but instead of going, let me try to pin, All right. what does he do? He goes and tries to, like, further get a good or better shot at it because, right. like, he knows that probably That's wouldn't finish him. Yeah. So it is a lot, of, I think... Uh, I like the psychology of the match. I think it being slow is a hindrance on both sides. But I think if you know like Brett, if you know Brett as a wrestler, and you know Sean of just how good of a just everything he is, I feel like it works. But if uh, yes, if an alien were to pop down tomorrow and watch this match, they'd be like, "This is what you guys were into." Like, yeah. why? I, so I get that point of it, but I guess this match wasn't for the alien to drop down. This match was for the the real wrestling heads and. Um, I also looked up, you know, other people's thoughts on it, and I think Jim Cornette had one of the better takes okay. on this. Um, at the time, Jim Cornette said that he kind of fought against this match being done at this moment because of the venue. Right. And Anaheim, and LA, and they yeah. they are more to the WWE style of wrestling, or WWF at the time, style of wrestling, yeah. which is more spotty, more more quicker pace, etc. cetera. Uh, Cornette said he wished they would have done it in a Southern. Yes. Arena because the Southern wrestlers are used to the NWA, all the territories where they wrestle similar to that style where it was supposed to feel like more fights rather than entertaining fights. Absolutely. Um, And we talked about when we did the Hart and Backlund match, which was in San Antonio, Antonio. which Southern State. And I remember when we said in a commentary, like, oh, this is, I feel like the crowd's not into it. We had a, one of uh, the viewers comment and say he was there live and the crowd was into it. Like they just were enjoying the match right. because this is what they were used to. So I wonder how this match feels if it played in that venue and you see the crowd there. Like does it does it play a little differently there? So and that's just some of the psychology that when you book these type of matches or matches in general, you have to take that into account. Where are we booking this? Yeah. Does this kind of match fit with the clientele that's going to be there, which... I think that's what misses the mark there. Um, but most people, historians, wrestling, again, like I said, I think it's a divided yeah. thing. So I guess let's go 
into the rankings okay. and see. I'll let you go first because I know you were more critical of this. Well, where would you give this? Yeah, so we're gonna rank it as an entire match as a whole, right? Right. Because like, if I think about it, like again, part of the reason, as I've I've kind of said, like the first, you know, forty minutes of this match to me are, you know, just it's not very good. You know, it's slow. Um, but then once, um, you know, the last 20 minutes is really good. And I feel like the last 20 minutes is like, if you just cut out, did the 20 minutes, that'd be like spectacular. Okay. But you got, because you have to add the 40 minutes before 20, you know, uh, 35, 40 minutes onto mm-hmm. it. Um, I'm at like a three and a half. Okay. See, I, I will push back on you when you say this because you said it, and I feel like this is it. When you said it, my ears, my body cringed, and they'll probably have a, a beam of me just cringing when you said it. When you said, the first 40 minutes isn't really good. Like, there's a difference between a match being slow versus not good. Halloween Havoc's not a good not match. Good. I agree. He- this was just okay. a technical slow match. My my word choice. Then. These guys yeah. were okay. they were wrestling their butts off. Yes. Like those holds and those flips and those submissions and those reversals. That is real wrestling. The, 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 and the, as yes. a former real wrestler, you would think you would appreciate that more than anybody. <laughs> amateur wrestling, not like personal. Yeah, 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 yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> amateur, yeah. Like that is more the amateur, real Olympian type of style wrestling than the, what we see on a regular. So okay, but three point five. I'm gonna go. I'm going to go a 4.5. Okay. And the reason I'm going to go 4.5 is I think besides this match being the kingmaker mm-hmm. for Sean, right. which is epic, I think when we talk about WrestleMania spots and all that, yeah, it's about crazy. three or four of them that are in every package. Yep. The, the the Sean entrance. Yep. The, um, we've got the super kick at the, the end of it. At the the end. Sean holding the belt for you at the end. And we usually even get the fact of the... The whole coming back to the ring with Brett because, like, the match goes on. So, I can't give a, a, a thing that has in the echelon of WrestleMania history less than a four. At least I can't give it less than a four because we, we get too many moments out of but, it. So, my point is, though, other than the entrance, everything you just said happens in the last five minutes. Of the but match. is it part of the match? Yeah, but again, you have to look at the match as a whole. And I do look at it as a whole. Like, the beginning of the match is a technical marvel. It's no different than the uh, no different, but it's very similar to the Bretton Backlund. It's no different than a lot of submission matches we've watched. It's a technical marvel at the beginning. It's just not as fast paced as you like because they have to feel an hour long of time. So for me, I'm like I'm not going to crap on them because they're like, oh, well, let's just tire ourselves out so we can look like shit at the end. And then when when everybody's like, oh, this match started off great, they just couldn't finish. And then you're going you're going to shit on them for that then. <laughs> so and then also let's be real, a lot of times. How the movie ends is the only thing we really give a shit about. We are, we are living in it. We, we all have done it. We've all watched movies where the ending was crap. And we'd be like, oh, that movie's terrible. Yeah. And you'd be like, what is the movie terrible? Oh, the ending. It was it M. Night Shyamalan, anybody? <laughs> oh, that's what's ending. It was, oh, my God. Like, I can't believe. And it. it's like, yeah. So this one, we get the reverse. We get a slow open, uh, a middle package that picks up, and then an ending that's memorable. So I'm going to give it a 4.5. And that's not even on my Brett Bias scale. I get a 4.5 just on the simple fact that, again, I think you give somebody 60 minutes to fill. Mm-hmm. How do you do that? Oh, I, And how do you make that work? So had, degree of difficulty alone. They had constraints, yeah, I know. For the fact that you made a memorable match with that degree of difficulty, because this match could have went down as one of the dumbest matches of all time. And the fact that the degree of difficulty and what you were able to accomplish and the memories and moments built in that, yep. I, I can't. I can't go below a 4, so I'm going to go 4.5. I know everybody's going to kill me because I think I'm too high and I think he's too low. So. <laughs> I think the average person is probably at about a four. Yeah, yeah. Probably 3.54. Like, I think, I always think you're too low just because you're more of a wrestling head than I am. So, but we, we did it, guys. We, we made it. <sighs> we did it. Technical, For you. Technical difficulties and all. We, yeah, yeah. So, we had some glitches here. And hopefully when you watch this rebroadcast, you don't see the glitches or feel the glitches. But there were. <laughs> That's our goal. But we made it, guys. We need to. I need to upgrade my internet package for you guys. So, but again, as always, thank you guys so much for listening, watching, and so many of you guys have been joining the circus lately. Yes, I love it. I love it. I love it. And we do this for you guys. Again, like I always tell everybody every week, 
We don't make any money off this stuff. Nope. We do this because we enjoy it, and we know that wrestling fans enjoy stuff. So, again, thank you guys for listening and watching Wrestling Review yeah. and subscribing and following Hit Cannon Circus everywhere we're at. We're on Instagram as well. So, it, again, it's just a pleasure to do this. Travis the Beer, you got any closing words? Uh, just like what we do at the end, at the end of every uh, video, if you have a match you would like, let us know. We will try and get to it as fast as possible. Yep. Um, uh, right now, uh, we do have some exclusive matches coming up. Yes, uh, yes, yes. Straight just for people that are Subscribe. subscribers, yep. correct? Yep, 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 um, yep. I think the first one we're going to do um, as a subscriber-only match mm -hmm. is also... Bret Hart versus Shawn Michaels. <laughs> yes, the latter match that he spoke about. Well, the latter yes. match I've, I've talked about a, a little while back ago, um, but that'll be the first one we do. So, right. Uh, we'll put that one out here pretty soon. And uh, I mean, right now we don't have any customer viewer requests, so I'm going to say, and usually I, don't like, I like to wait and just let y'all just think what we're going to come up with and do it, but I'm going to say it right now. I'm going to start the new year off with a bang. Go for it. I'm going to start the new year off with a bang, and you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give to you guys... Oh, that would be <laughs> hey! so, so high five. But no, we're going to do, if no viewer requests come in, we're going to do Icon versus Icon, one of the matches that he hates the most. And I'm going to just sit here and just take in all the goodness. Mm, it's going to be great. It's going to be great, brother. You know, and if people don't know what Icon versus Icon is, it is Hollywood Hogan versus Dwayne the most the Rock electrifying Johnson. man. In sports entertainment, The Rock. Man, I'm, oh, I can't wait. Oh, so if nothing comes in, that's what we're going to give y'all next week. Please send something in. <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> and don't have someone be that match either. <laughs> so. Find another Chamber of Horrors match. <laughs> right, right, right. And we got to start, you know, if nobody comes in, we're going to start it off with a bang. But. Guys, again, thank you all for listening and watching and rocking with us as we go on this journey of wrestling review. It is so much fun. Yeah. I mean, I'm over here sweating because I didn't drink. Got these hot lights on us. We pulled in an hour for you guys. And I just appreciate it if you guys watched it all the way to the end. That's dope. If you if you skipped out somewhere between it and you're not we even understand. hearing this, that's still dope. We, we completely get it. But thank you guys so much for watching with us again. Um, we will see you all, I guess, next week, next yep. time. I think we're going to... Take one week off solidly, which will be next week. And then I think we'll come back the next week with Icon versus Icon and exclusive material going on just because we want to stagger some of that out. And also, we want to give Travis and myself at least a small, little small break, a little bit. So, guys, thank you guys for rocking with us. We love you guys. We will see you next time. Peace. This is a head cannon circus production.